Hey guys, well, I decided I'd finally get the Tesla coil going one way or another. Um, yeah, no, no room for, for making things perfect anymore. I just had to get it going so I could see some sparks. So uh, I, I scavenged the old uh, toroid that I used about 20 years ago. Um, it's not quite in the same shape it was back then, but hey, it'll do the job for now. But I guess the logical thing to do is to give you a rundown starting at the power point. So, here we have a standard 32 amp three phase outlet. And um, a rather basic control panel here. Um, 10 amp circuit breaker, 10 amp per phase that is. Main switch. Uh, a couple of single phase outlets and three extension cords going to the mop bank over here and um, my diode strings down there um, makeshift charging inductor this is two mot cores in parallel um, about 12 millihenry uh, sorry 12 henrys all up i think and then uh, coming over to the gap oh they are currently being run in parallel so we're only getting about 5,000 volts out, 5,500 maybe, and then, then 11,000 um, due to the, the charging reactor. So the problem that causes for me is that 5,000 volts is actually pretty small and I'm running a very tight gap here. Only running the one gap, not running the other side over there, that's shorted. But um, this is just scaring the hell out of me. I'm just waiting for for something to hit something it shouldn't and things to fly apart. So I'm definitely gonna have to run those transformers. Look at that, see how small it is. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to run those transformers in series soon. But it's all going well, um, 0.05 microfarads there. Um, as you can see, I've strategically placed some bits of polyethylene to stop sparking between things that shouldn't. Um, I've got the tap all the way out, which has worked out well. I was kind of concerned about my primary only having 10 turns, but it looks like it's actually going to be a good match. Um, when I make a final toroid, um, it'll tune out, tune, tune quite nicely all the way out. So that'll be good. But yeah, um, getting some decent sparks. Uh, coming from the rotary spark up there, I've got my, control, um, my power cables and they're in a grounded sheath that you can see there. And um, that's coming back to my variable frequency drive here. Um, and so far it's all running well. Uh, I did do, do one run just then that um, caused the VFD to shut down, but it didn't destroy it, thank God. And um, hopefully I can show you some sparks soon. Uh, it's all going pretty nicely and I can't really begin to imagine what it will be like when I... Um, run the coils, uh, sorry, the transformers in series and have several times the power going in and also come up with a better choke arrangement. This is far too big for the kind of power I'm hoping to run. 12 Henry's is a bit large, but I just threw it together today and it's all going well. So I'll turn the camera off and show you some sparks. There goes the VFD again. Whoops. Um, anyway, as you can see, ran pretty well. Unfortunately, the um, variable frequency drive for that little three-phase motor is getting some interference or something and shutting down. But fortunately, it's not destroying it. It's just causing some kind of error. So hopefully, if I get that housed in a grounded box, um, it'll, it'll work, hopefully. Um, yes, this is probably... The most unmetered um, Tesla coil out there as far as having power meters and amp meters and volt meters and all the rest of it but frankly I'm not really too concerned. I've got a 10 amp breaker there, 32 amp breaker there and another one over in the house where it joins up and um, really all that can go wrong I think is blowing a few diodes or a transformer, none of which really other than being an absolute pain, will really bother me too much. So, um, yeah, I'll work on a power cabinet one of these days. But, yeah, looking good. Cheers.